Hereditary Leomyomatoses and Renal Cell Cancer Syndrome, Wikipedia Audio Reed's syndrome is a rare inherited condition characterized by multiple cutaneous leomyomas and, in women, uterine leomyomas. It predisposes for renal cell cancer, an association denominated hereditary leomyomatoses and renal cell cancer, and it is also associated with increased risk of uterine leomyosarcoma. The syndrome is caused by a mutation in the fumarate hydratase gene, which leads to an accumulation of fumarate. The inheritance pattern is autosomal dominant. Almost all women present with uterine fibroids, approximately 76% with dermal manifestations and 10-16% to with renal tumors. The uterine fibroids tend to occur at younger age and larger and more numerous than in general population. They may be distinguishable from sporadic fibroids by special histological features such as prominent nucleoli with perinuclear halos. Signs and Symptoms The skin presentation is of asymmetrical, reddish-brown nodules or papules with a firm consistency predominantly located on the limbs, although they may occur anywhere, including the face. The lesions, which are typically painful and most often present during the third decade of life, are pyloleomyomata a benign smooth muscle tumor arising from the erectories pylorum muscles of the skin. These tumors may also arise in the tunica dartis of the scrotum and the mammillary muscle of the nipple the smooth muscle of blood vessels and the lung. A pseudo or sign may be present. The renal cell carcinoma tends to be of the papillary form and tends to occur more commonly in women than men with this syndrome. These cancers present earlier than is usual for renal cell carcinomas and to be at relatively advanced stages at presentation. Tumors have rarely been reported in children. These tumors occur in 20% of those with this mutation suggesting that other factors are involved in the pathogenesis. Reed syndrome and hereditary leomyomatoses and renal cell cancer at the Genetic and Rare Diseases Information Center. Other relatively rare conditions have been reported in association with this disease. It is not yet known if these associations are fortuitous or manifestations of the condition itself. Cerebral cavernomas and massive, macronodular adrenocortical disease have also been reported in association with this syndrome. A case of cutis verticis gyrata, disseminated collagenoma, and charcomerie tooth disease in association with a mutation in the fumarate hydratase gene has also been reported. Two cases of ovarian mucinous cyst adenoma have also been reported with this mutation. The fumarate hydratase gene, located on the long arm of chromosome 1, spans 22 kilobases and has 10 exons. The first exon codes for a signal peptide. While the pathogenetic mechanisms underlying the lesions remain unclear, it has been suggested that the accumulation of fumarate may lead to overexpression of the aldoketoreductase enzyme, AKR1B10. It has also been found that fumarate is present in the mitochondria and in the cytoplasm. The cytoplasmic form appears to have a role in the protection of DNA from molecular injury. Fumarate has been shown to be a competitive inhibitor of prolyl hydroxylase. This inhibition leads to the stabilization of a number of hypoxia-inducible factors which are thought to predispose to tumorigensis. An alternative pathway for the metabolism of fumarate in the presence of these mutations has been described. Other genes involved affected by this mutation are KEAP1, NRF2 and HMOX1. 
the diagnosis is made either by testing of the fumarate hydratase activity in cultured skin fibroblasts or lymphoblastoid cells and demonstrating reduced activity or by molecular genetic testing. Special histologic features of fibroids may allow an early diagnosis in absence of other symptoms. The skin lesions may be difficult to diagnose clinically but a punch biopsy will usually reveal a Grant's zone separating the tumor from the overlying skin. Histological examination shows dense dermal nodules composed of elongated cells with abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm arranged in fascicles. The nuclei are uniform, blunt-ended and cigar-shaped with only occasional mitoses. Special stains that may be of use in the diagnosis include Masson's trichrome, Van Giesen's stain and phosphotungstic acid hematoxylin. The renal cell carcinomas have prominent eosinophilic nuclei surrounded by a clear halo. Associated conditions Differential diagnosis of this condition includes the bird hog dube syndrome and tuberous sclerosis. As the skin lesions are typically painful, it is also often necessary to exclude other painful tumors of the skin. Other skin lesions that may need to be considered include cylindroma, lipoma, poroma, and trichoepithelioma. These tend to be painless and have other useful distinguishing features. Uterine fibroids can be treated with the same methods like sporadic uterine fibroids including anti-hormonal treatment, surgery, or embolization. Substantially elevated risk of progression to or independent development of uterine leiomyosarcoma has been reported which may influence treatment methods. The predisposition to renal cell cancer calls for screening and, if necessary, Urological management. The skin lesions may be difficult to treat as they tend to recur after excision or destructive treatment. Drugs which affect smooth muscle contraction, such as doxazosin, nitroglycerin, nifedipine, and phenoxybenzamine, may provide pain relief. Topical lidocaine patches have been reported to decrease in severity and frequency of pain cutaneous leomyomas. A 2006 review stated that ARS often leads renal cancer between ages 30 to 50. Renal cancer kills about 1 in 3 people, but 5-year survival rates improved between 1974 to 1976 and 1995 to 2000 from 52% to 64%. The syndrome was first described by Reed et al. in 1973. The link with the fumarate hydratase gene was uncovered in 2002. Cause Pathogenesis A database of the mutations of the fumarate hydratase gene is available. Autosomal recessive mutations cause a serious neurological disease known as fumarase deficiency, which is associated with a variety of congenital lesions in the brain. Diagnosis Histology Differential diagnosis Treatment Prognosis History Notes